Welcome to The Update, Soul Therapy's weekly news on Korean hip-hop and r and I'm your host, Liv. Before we dive into the video, to stay up to date with all our future K-hip-hop content, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications so you don't miss out. To celebrate some of the biggest names in Korean hip-hop and R&B coming to London for MIC Festival, we will be hosting a party on the 30th of July at Ores London with AOMG's DJ Wagon joining us for a set. We will be serving up a 360 immersive visual experience and DJs Yang Grey and Charisma will be bringing you the hottest tracks. So join us to warm up for the K-hip-hop day by clicking Clicking on the link in our bio for tickets. Fans took to social media to express concerns for BB's well-being, as on a recent Instagram live she seemed very distressed, expressing that she wanted to eat, wash up and rest, but can't due to being overworked. She's been through a lot recently, facing undue criticism for her confident and sexy image when performing. She published a few tweets assuring fans that she is okay and made a statement apologizing for making them worry. BB said that she was experiencing burnout from working hard on her album and content and that she was shocked to see so many articles saying she hadn't been eating or sleeping. Many fans look to Tiger JK and Yoon Mi Rae for answers as they are the CEOs of BB's label Feel Good Music and are very close mentors to her so it was surprising that her management could possibly be mistreating her. But BB expressed that they are the people who give her the most strength when she's going through a hard time. Tiger JK released a statement saying what she said on live was surprising and he doesn't know what triggered it but assured fans that she is not being starved nor forced to do things she doesn't want to do and that perhaps her anxiety is getting the best of her as she's working so hard. We here at Soul Therapy hope BB is feeling better and can't wait to see what she's working on. BMC, the company that Don Mills is signed to, released a statement condemning the malicious slander and sexual harassment that Don Mills and his wife have received since exposing legit goons' Basagong sharing photos of her and other women after he slept with them in a group chat. BMC said that the situation is being investigated by local police and that as a company they will be doing their best to protect their artists and families through monitoring and data collection. Last week, we reported that by midday of its launch, 95% of Jay Park's One So Due was sold out with over 60,000 bottles sold. Well, now, a week after its launch in GS25 convenience stores, it is completely sold out with all 200,000 bottles purchased. However, some employees of GS25 were complaining about One So Due's purchasing policy, as upon the new restock, each store will only be selling six bottles a week, resulting in customers haggling to reserve a bottle and bothering the staff. So. If you're going to try and get a bottle, be nice. Wayside Town Cruise and Ambition Music's Hash Swan has returned from his military service this week. He greeted fans for the first time since October 2020 on Instagram Live, showing off his new haircut. Cash Bang took to his Instagram story to talk about the problems he faced with his former company, Beautiful Noise, run by Mummy Son. He said, never sign a contract with a rapper. They invest nothing and do a shit job of mastering albums. He also said that money earned from songs he made was misused by the company and by signing a contract at a young age without a lawyer, he was constricted to generic rap and a bad experience. The full translation is available on our Twitter via the link in the description. Producer and MYBH crew member Cosmic Boy has set up his own label, Cosm, and has signed their first artists, Lei Wan and Kim Sung Min. This has been the update. Don't forget to like, share, and comment telling us what you thought about this week's news. I'll see you next week.